The Islamabad High Court has suspended Imran Khan and Bushra Imran's sentence in the bogus Toshakhana case. A kangaroo court set up inside the Diala jail conducted a hasty secret sham trial before the elections and handed down these sentences. Imran Khan repeatedly called for an open trial of this case. As the Toshakhana state gift repository details revealed, he followed all requirements for the retention of the gifts as per the law, whereas other political party heads retained gifts which were not allowed under the law. The Islamabad High Court ordered jail authorities to allow illegally incarcerated former Prime Minister Imran Khan and his wife to meet once a week. Mr Khan's wife, Bushra Imran, is also being held illegally by Pakistan's authoritarian regime in solitary confinement. According to the Express Tribune, Justice Mia Gulhasan Aurangzeb also admonished the administration for its failure to satisfy the court's concerns and observed that they undermined the rule of law. Jail authorities had prevented Mr Khan from meeting his wife, which is allowed as per the Pakistani jail manual. Pakistan Supreme Court has taken sumo to notice of a letter written by six high court judges in which they revealed that intelligence agencies were pressuring them through abductions of family members and secret surveillance cameras placed in the bedroom of judges. The controversial Chief Justice Qazi Faiz Isa took notice of the issue today as lawyers, civil society and the country's largest political party, the PTI, rejected the formation of a commission headed by a retired judge to probe the revelations. The retired judge appointed to head the commission also recused himself, saying that the High Court judges addressed the Chief Justice himself. The Pakistani government, formed by a coalition through stolen seats, once again raised petrol prices. The government has increased the petrol price by 10 rupees per litre to 290 rupees a litre. The petrol price in Pakistan is now officially more expensive than the average petrol price in the United States, the world's most developed country. Dozens of mutilated bodies have been found at Al Shifa Hospital after the withdrawal of Israeli soldiers following a two week raid. Gaza's largest medical facility has been left in ruins. Al Shifa, which endured a previous siege in November, now appears to be largely in ruins.